Oh, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are doing another deck check in here, looking at a uh, fairly budget deck. Wolverine, best there is. All right. I really want to do this one, so I'm excited. Um, we are taking a look at Wolverine, best there is. I am excited about this one. As I just said, I really kind of repeated myself there, but anyway. I was hoping to cover one of the Marvel Commanders, and this is a top choice. Um, I've been seeing pretty much non-stop stuff on, like, you know, Facebook, people posting about all the Marvel Commanders. So many of them look so good, and this might be my top pick right here, so. This is Wolverine, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, you see regenerating is very on point for old Wolfie, yeah. He can, again, for one and a green, let's actually read the card, why not, hey? That'll make everything make sense. So one red green. He is a 2-2 two, two legendary creature, human berserker hero. Mutant berserker hero, not human. I kept thinking it was human before. I don't know why I keep think, say, doing that. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, unrivaled lethality. Double all damage that Wolverine would deal. Oh boy. That... That obviously is going to be a lot of damage very quickly. He starts as a 2-2, so that's only 4 damage. But it gets carried away very quickly, as you'll see. At the beginning of each end step, if a Wolverine dealt damage to another creature this turn, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on him. So just any kind of damage he does to another creature, he gets plus 1, plus 1 at the end of the turn. And just keep stacking those counters up. Oh boy. And finally, one green regenerate Wolverine. Um, so the next time he'll be destroyed this turn. Uh, instead, tap him, remove him from combat, and heal all damage on him. This is very abusable. The real unfortunate thing is he has to tap. We do have at least one thing that lets us untap in this deck. But yeah, that's something I want to be looking at right away to try and like basically sneak in a win con there. Uh, yeah. Regeneration is actually a retired word, a uh, keyword. Um, they don't retire a lot of them, but they do with the regenerate because they thought it was like too uh, wonky of an ability, basically. Seems like they dusted it off for Wolverine, so that's kind of neat. Anyway, he is uniquely qualified as a Voltron commander due to his first ability, just doubling all damage. So remember, this is very important to keep in mind. You need 21 commander damage to, like, take people out. It doesn't matter if you do it all at once or all over several turns. Ideally, you do it all at once, but anyway, we'll see. When building him, it is important to keep his rather odd math in mind. So again, the odd math is all about the commander damage. So, yeah, commander damage requires 21 to eliminate another player. Actually, eliminating the player is 21. Effectively, his starting damage is 4. And getting double strike, it makes it 8. Basically, everything you want to get double strike, right? With 1 plus 1 plus 1 counter, he's already... So, that's 3. Still not impressive. He makes it 6, and double strike makes it 12. So, we've already gone from, like, 4 without double strike to 12 with double strike and 1 plus 1 plus 1 counter. You can see where this is going. Really, he only needs double strike and 6 attack power, right? If he has 6 attack power, doubles it, doesn't matter how you get that 6, right? Equipment or uh, plus 1 plus 1 counters or whatever you want. You get him, give him plus 4 attack power. However, he doubles that to uh, 12, and then with double strike, it's 24. It is already 3 above, one-shotting someone. Crazy, crazy. And for one, again, he's only 3 CMC, so he can start doing this early, right? Real early. Uh, uh, since he automatically doubles his own damage, the next part is to focus on getting him his attack boosted, which he also does himself. Yeah, he does that himself too. Again, every time he damages a creature, he's going to get a plus one, plus one at the end of the turn. Just automatically. He does that for himself. 
so even if you do damage, you probably don't want to wait for full turns of him doing damaging creatures, but if you do, he's done it already. Even probably one in like adding some more damage or proliferate or whatever it may be is going to be good. This deck makes use of several effects that allow Wolverine to fight other creatures and guarantee that he is getting his bonus every turn. So this deck has a whole lot of like fight mechanic things or even just dealing damage, like he can deal damage automatically effects. Um, very, very good with this. That Actually, I took quite a few of those out on my version. Um, I don't know if I should have. I might have gotten carried away, but anyway. So the deck price, as it was sent to me, is one hundred seven ninety eight, and uh, you can order you can order either version of the deck on TCG Player. So what I did, I went overboard again. I took an early nap and I couldn't sleep yesterday. I had Korean barbecue. Uh, if you have Korean barbecue, you might know the nap thing. I ended up making a bunch of updates on a separate list last night. I couldn't get to sleep because I took like a two and a half hour nap after all the Korean barbecue. Anyway, oh boy. This, te uh, this deck is titled A Work in Progress, so I didn't feel too bad switching it up a bunch. Um, so I'm putting both decks in the description. You can see the, the original and the one I made. Probably you might want to do something in between. I'm not really sure. So I wouldn't say one is really necessarily better than the other. Mine is cheaper, is what I was saying, yeah. Okay, thoughts on Wolverine. So this is a gruel commander that has a lot of potential, possibly even the best. This was built by Frog Hermit, a watcher and commenter of the channel. Thanks, Frog, yeah. This is one I was hoping I was one to cover one of the Marvel ones, and he was definitely on my, like, the top of my list, so this worked out very nicely. Um, yeah. I've actually covered one from Nelly Borka. He did the Nelly Borka deck I covered before, so this is not my first time uh, covering one of his decks. Alright, once again, Wolverine is ideal uh, for a Voltron Gruel Commander. Many Voltron Commanders will focus on using Evasion, uh, which he's full on Gruel and will use Trample to go through them instead, right? He's very, very Gruel. Wolverine rather go through the, the, all the enemies rather than going around. Um, I think that's very appropriate. And um, this deck does have some evasion, don't get me wrong, but it's mostly just like smashing through with a trample. Alright, so star cards. This deck wants to get, buff up Wolverine quickly and give him a trample to easily take out commanders with commander damage. Basically, Gruel Voltron, fast and like hard hitting, right? Uh, going well over his required damage is a good idea since we're relying more on Trample than Evasion. Again, this deck does have a little bit of Evasion. It's mostly Trample, it's mostly just punching, right? Which I do enjoy. Counter Synergy. All right, so well rested. This is actually a card I took out and with a lot of hesitation. Um, I love this card. It's under $5 now, which is nice. It was still a little steep for uh, what I thought it was doing in the deck. Anyway, whenever this creature becomes untapped, put two plus one plus one counters on it, then you gain two life. This ability triggers only once each turn. So again, if you have something that lets you untap on other people's turns, this card is like insane. Uh, I had this, I believe, in my, um, what's his name? Murpho guy deck. Kambal. Kambal deck. And yeah, in that, there, the, everything is just untapping every turn. And that way, every turn, it's like plus eight, plus eight, and you gain eight life. And like, oh boy. So yeah, this doesn't really do that so much. So yeah. Eh. Power Fist. This I did keep in. It's just a little bit pricey, but it's hard to beat, especially with Wolverine. One in a green for this equipment. Equip creature has trample, trample, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one plus one counters on it. Oh my gosh, we're already just like piling on damage, piling on trample, and he's going in every turn probably, right? He's going to get just like even... 
his first attack with this, he might end up with like a pile of plus one, plus one counters that even just like they're going to have to block with like their whole board to just like not get taken out. Yeah. Oh. Nayeth? 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 I don't know. Of the Dire Hunt. Two green green for this 3-3. Three, three. Whenever one or more creatures you control fight or uh, fight or becomes blocked, draw a card. You have tons of fight. And yeah, blocking is going to come up as well. This is going to be just a lot of extra card draw. So that's not really counter synergy, but as we get a combat on your turn, you may pay two and red or green. If you do double target creature's power until end of turn, that creature must be blocked this combat if able. Again, so this is your, again, it's not really counters, it's buff. I should have called this buff synergy, but anyway. It's about buffing, you can buff up Wolverine and force them to block, and that way he's getting his plus one plus one counter, and like, they're probably gonna block anyway since you have trample, you might as well double his power, right? Really scary with trample. Gift of the Viper. One plus one counter and a reach counter and a death touch counter on target creature. Death touch trample is just like the best combination. Once you have trample, if you have death touch, you just assign one damage to every creature blocking you, and then all the other damage carries over. So really, it's like a rebate on your trample at that point. Um, it's amazing. Also, untap. On tap is very good. Remember, if we, you can use something like uh, we've got what is it called again? It's based on the name of everything, but anyway, yeah, where you do like I, think, I believe it's eight damage to everything on the board, and then you can re for one mana it would cost you, assuming there's a lot of creatures on the board, and then yeah, you can regenerate Wolverine, which taps him. And then, yeah, you use this to give him, like, uh, reach and death touch and untap him. And then, yeah, you just send him in and, like, basically get a kill. And for the rest of the game, he's got death touch. So you can just, like, keep wiping people out or wiping out their boards, at least. Hardened Scales. I think I took this one out as well just because of the price. I, took, I put it in a cami of Whispered Hopes, I think it's called. Where, yeah, it does almost the same thing, but yeah, it also taps for a mana. So kind of nicer there. If one or more plus one plus one counters will be put on a creature you control, that many plus one are put on it instead. Again, the Cameo Whisper Hopes does that's the same thing, also can tap for mana. It's a creature, so it's more vulnerable, but still, I think, yeah. Just the fact that it's also a mana dork is nice. Hard draw. Rule is usually not good at card draw, so that's something you really want to consider, especially in like a Voltron deck, you want to like make sure you have that card draw. Alright, Crash the Town for one green, it's an instant with speed, that just means you pay extra to get off whatever effects you want, which is crazy good. For two, you can put two plus one plus one counters on target creature, oh boy, oh boy. And target creature gains trample until end of turn. Mm. Oh boy. And finally, until end of turn, target creature gains. Whenever this creature does combat down to a player, draw two cards. <laughs> so you're probably going to want to cast this for six and just get all the effects. And uh, yeah, cast it on Wolverine and just like, there's like everything you want to do on one card. This is like the most perfect card possible for this deck. I don't know. Audacity. I really love this one as well. For one green, enchanted creature has plus two plus zero and has trample. Again, damage bonus trample. That's it. We're happy. Audacity. When Audacity is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, draw a card. I don't know if this is going to end up going to the graveyard because hopefully you're putting on Wolverine and he's not going to go to the graveyard or he's not going to like actually get knocked off the battlefield. Um, but yeah. It's a... Excuse me. Oh boy. One green for a possible one card draw? 
Green is not good at card draw, so you, that's actually a good deal. If you want to put, if you already got Trample on Wolverine, maybe you put this on something else, and if it gets knocked out, hey, you're drawing a card. Good deal. Keen Sense for one green. Um, this is Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature deals combat damage to a player. You may draw a card. It's okay. It's not great. It, it's actually, it's. I think it was over $3 for this. And I took it out. I like the effect, but it's just cost to effect wise. Um, meh, you know? Yeah. It, on Wolverine, you would be drawing every turn probably. So that's something to keep in mind. Drawing two cards every turn from like your phase and just like Wolverine attacking. Two is probably going to keep you at least level, right? I don't know how many turns do you like. I guess later in the game you might use more than two cards, but it's going to keep you uh, at least in a good place for a while. Snake Umbra. Okay, this is cheaper than Keen Sense and just better. Two and a green, so the casting cost is higher, but Enchanted Creature has plus one, plus one, and whenever this creature deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. So that's already two effects, both what we want, and finally Totem Armor. So if something's going to kill the creature, you can just lose the Totem Armor instead, and it's fine. Uh, a backup to Wolverine's Regenerate is not a bad idea. There are, you know, there are spells that prevent regeneration, so if someone happens to have one of those, it's going to be a big problem for Wolverine. Here, you can just be like, uh, yeah, sure, don't care. Faithless Looting for one red. I took this one out as well. I don't know if I should have. Draw two cards, then discard two cards, and it has flashback two in a red. This is a very good card draw spell. Um, I felt like we could uh, get things more like on point with the tactics in this deck. Very, very good card, though. This was a tough one. I love the art on that as well. I gotta order that. My favorites. Okay, let's look at some of my favorites now from the deck because there are some interesting choices that I really liked. Ring of Colonia, also Ring of Valkus. I hadn't seen these in like months. I came across these a while ago and like just spaced on them, I think. I shouldn't have. Again, they each cost two and they are equipment with equipment one. Equip creature has trample. And if it's green at the end of the turn, you can put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Um, holy cow. And equip creature has haste. And if it's red, you put a plus one, plus one counter on at the end of turn. Again, plus one, plus one counters and trample or haste on Wolverine. Just the perfect cards for this deck. Um, also, I wanted to order the whole cycle of these and I can't find them uh, in Korea. Ah! Anyway, Longstock Brawl. This is one I really love as well. This is a, ch a super cheap card that is just like Bloomborough did great again. For one green, it is a sorcery. Gift a tap fish. Choose target creature you control and target creature you don't control. Put a plus one, plus one counter on the creature you control. If the gift was promised, then uh, the creatures fight each other. So you're just guaranteeing Wolverine that extra plus one, plus one at the end of the turn, and you're putting plus one, plus one on him by gifting a tapped fish. You know what? I don't care about a tapped fish. I think that's almost like a funny gift because it's so useless. Um, anyway. This is, an, this is actually a combo I was going to put into a deck this week. I couldn't find my two-handed axe though. I know I've got like three of them somewhere and I cannot figure out where. Anyway. Two-handed accent Spear of Leonidas, oh, or anything that has double strike, oh my gosh. So two-handed axe for two and a red. Um, equip one and a red, and whenever a quick creature attacks, double its power until end of turn. And the Spear of Leonidas can give double strike. Or make a token, or, again, discard two cards and draw two cards. Just whatever you need it to do, it'll do in this deck especially but yeah the two-handed axe okay so two-handed axe is going to double his power so let's say you have these two and nothing else it's already doubling his power to four 
then he's going to double it to eight. And then, yeah, we're going to go up to 16 with double strike already. There's no plus one. Plus one counters nothing. You're already at like 16 commander damage. Even one plus one plus one counter, the math changes so much. It goes three, six, 12, 24. You're above lethal already. Uh, they've got to like block you so hard. Again, you need trample, I think, with that too. Or just if you destroyed all the blockers, that would work. But anyway, I love that combination. It's just like commander damage incarnate. Alright, so we're on to part two here. Um, the plan is part two, and I've got my Twinnings tea. I took a little break in filming because my uh, my son is getting a little rowdy. He can play Dota 2 for so long before he gets fussy, so I uh, had to take a little break. It's now after three o'clock, which means it's Twinnings time. Twinnings tea. A cup of love. Not a sponsor. But they should be. Having Lady Grey this time, it's a nice little, uh, it's a nice little tea. If you're looking for something that's like a lighter version of Earl Grey, Lady Grey is what you want anyway. Uh, how does this deck play? Step one. Always step one is ramp. Ramp color fixing, step one. Step two, buffs. Very simple, right? Ramp buff. Voltron, good to go. Step three, win cons. Again, are we kind of all, all of the win cons are kind of like commander damage? I still don't think they're the same win con. You can say it's the same because it's like a group, but I'd say it's like a superordinate, not a, yeah, not a specific. But anyway, okay. Ramp. First of all, Delighted Halfling. I ended up switching this one with great hesitation. The TCG player price is just under 10 bucks, so I want to take that out, even though it is very, very good. So it's one green for one, two. You can add a colorless or add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a legendary spell, like your commander, and that spell can't be countered. Ho. Oh. Um. Especially, you can cast this turn one. Turn two, if you play any other land, you can get your commander out turn two. And he can't be countered then. Really nice little combo. Um, I, uh, I did change this with another, but we're going to talk about that. With another uh, mana dork, basically. Hinder Wall. Uh, another one I took out with some hesitation. You could sacrifice it to add two red. It only costs one green to cast, so that's quite good. In a deck where you have a lot of recursion, like maybe a Jund deck, this would be amazing. In this deck, uh, I don't know. Even I'm adding recursion, so maybe I should have kept it. Nah, I don't know. Simeon Spirit Guide, two in a red, and you can exile it from your hand to add one red. If this was discard, I would keep it. Exile, just because then it is really once one-time deal and that's it right if you could put this back into your hand and then just discard it and get one red again i'd uh, i'd say yeah definitely worth it just because the exile ah uh, mm, not as crazy about that bear umbra i took this up because of the cost again this is an amazing card especially in this deck it is like really really good if you wanted to add something back to my list from the previous list, this is the card you should put back in, I think. I really hummed and hawed over this for like half an hour before I took it out. If it was even a dollar cheaper, it would still be in. Anyway, I think it's just under five. So two green green. Uh, enchanted creature, creature gets, oh, sorry, it's an aura. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two. And whenever this creature attacks, only attacks, doesn't have to do damage anything, just attacks. Untap, <clears throat> Untap all lands you control. All lands. Untap. Just for attacking. Which Wolverine is probably going to do every turn. Very hard cut to make. Also, Totem Armor. 
keeping him alive, even if you can't regenerate, he's going to be able to stay on the battlefield, which is really important for keeping all of his bonuses and stuff. Um, really kind of the complete package, if it was just a bit cheaper, it would still be in. Reaver Cleaver, I actually kept this one even though it is very expensive. Or really, for this deck, it's exp expensive, I mean. Two and a red for this equipment? I gotta buy this in real life. I don't have one. Uh, Equip Creature gets plus one, plus one. Has Trample. Remember, one of our main objectives is get Trample on Wolverine, right? And plus one, plus one, the added damage is nice, but that Trample. Whenever this creature deals damage to... Uh, player or planeswalker create that many treasure tokens wolverine is all about just doing a pile of damage to your opponents and you're just gonna make that many treasure tokens not even that many tap treasure tokens or anything just that many treasure tokens so yeah you're gonna like do a whole you might be just taking somewhere out of the game in one shot and you're gonna make like a pile of treasure for uh your second main, you can probably just cast your whole hand. Or maybe not your whole hand, but pretty dang close. Um, yeah. It has equipped three, which is not that bad for what it does. You're probably going to get that three mana back like turn one. Gee. Yeah, that's why I couldn't take that one out. Buffs. Okay, we already kind of talked about some, but here, let's keep going. Uh, Nihilith of the Dire Hunt. We actually talked about this one already, briefly. Snakeskin Veil. So again, you get a plus one, plus one counter on target creature, and you give it Hexproof. Having this for one mana as an instant is so important when you're doing a Voltron, Voltron just because you don't want to, you want to make sure that, like, even if they have something where it's, like, removal and it prevents it from regenerating, you can keep them on the battlefield. This will do it. So they cast their spell. You you give them hexproof. The spell is no longer a, has a legal target, so it just fizzles. It counters it without really countering it, basically. Psychotic Fury. This is another one I cut with so much hesitation. Um, another one I'd probably put back in. It, it's just the it was over three dollars, so I thought for uh, anyway I should read it first. Two and a red for an instant. Target multicolored creature you control gains double strike until end of turn. Draw a card. Two mana red card draw. So good. And double strike. Trample do double strike is what we want for our commander. So it does that. It's a, a really, really hard cut there. Again, if it was like even 50 cents cheaper, yeah, I wouldn't have cut it. Spectacular showdown for one and a red sorcery put a double strike counter on target creature then go to each creature that had a double strike counter put it on this way so you can put a double strike counter on your own creatures as well and technically they're goaded but they can't attack you anyway right it just means they attack and if you've got wolverine you want him to attack and you can put on like a mana dork or something and just tap it for mana and then it can't attack because it's tapped and everyone else it's even better it has overload four red 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 overload for seven is a lot but this is a finisher right this is forcing all of your opponents to attack each other and then you can like just go in and knock someone out of the game or maybe more than one person if you can get more than one combat phase in this is more than one player you can knock out that turn so yeah, it'll do so, so, so much. Anyway, Arden Scales. Cut this one as well. Actually talked about this already, so I'm not going to go over it again. But yeah, a very good one. But we can do the Kami Whispered Hope. So I think it's a little bit better. Win Con. So our number one win con. Talked about this one already as well. Two-handed Axe Spear of Leonidas. Very simple. Just yeah. Get a plus one, plus one on Wolverine. If he has one plus one, no plus one. Two-handed axe, Spear of Leonidas. Okay, done. You win. You can start, like, one-shotting people already. He's already at that 24 damage output. So they need to, like, have 
more than four four or more sorry toughness in front of it if they're going to be able to do that if you have any kind of evasion anything like that it's probably just taking people out oh oh boy wing con number two these again are all uh commander damage wing cons but very different ways of doing it okay so tyvar stand you give him plus x plus x and make him indestructible Ooh, the indestructible especially at instant speed what's really different about this one is that you're doing this all at instant speed so you can kind of like your uh, main one just let it pass and keep all your mana open and then if you don't want to do it that's fine main two do all your casting uh, or whatever so yeah again Tyvar stand yeah uh, and teamer battle rage target creature gains double strike until end of turn that creature also gains trample until end of turn if you if the creature's power is four or greater so you just increase his power by even two again you want to do more but whatever if it's even two so you cast tyvar stand for three he becomes a four four instructable and yeah then you teamer battle rage there you go you're done kind of the same thing as the last one where you're doubling doubling and yeah double strike you're gonna be what is the math on that let me think about that so there'd be four eight sixteen thirty two you're gonna be at thirty two damage <sighs> block it go ahead block it all you want Put, all your, put your entire board in front of it. Him, he's probably still going through with at least some, if not lethal, right? They're going to need 15, more than 15 toughness of creatures in front of him to save themselves. And he's indestructible. So even if they, they do the damage or they have death touch or something, don't care. Oh. Win con number three. Once again, spectacular showdown we talked about already. Lizard Blades, very simple. Uh, with this, you will need like a total of plus four, plus four on him, so you get him to a six, six, and then give him double strike. So once again, he's going to double his own power, or his own damage, going to 12, and then double strike to 24. So yeah, Spectacular Showdown is going to get them all, everything tapped for your opponents by goading all of their creatures, and then you just go in and like knock someone out, no problem. Suggestions. Okay, here I am looking for upgrade cards that will mostly be focused on reducing the deck cost and adding flexibility. I use my under $2 rule. So almost always I try to aim under $2 for all of my upgrade cards and suggestions. That's my usual rule on the channel and I try to keep it here as well. I am posting a link to the original and the updated version in the description. So in the description you can find the one that Frog Hermit made and the one I did with all of my modifications. So I don't know which one. You know what? I think in between the two is probably the best. But I, yeah, again, I was really just cutting cost is a lot of what I was doing. All right. So this deck was built as a Voltron commander deck, which is a good fit for the commander. Again, this is the correct thing to do with this commander for sure. If I was to make a criticism, I think it would be that it might be too focused on Voltron. So I think it is a little too, yeah, one dimen or one track, not one dimensional, one track. It has a whole bunch of different ways to get to that win con, but yeah, it's um a little too focused. You might be, you might end up like giving up, giving up the game on another kind of avenue or another front if you focus too much on that. So there are a total of 12 creatures in the deck, including the commander. That's very, very low, right? Keep in mind, that's like just over a 10% chance of getting a creature. You do have access to your commander the whole time, but I'd like to have more than that. I would recommend more. I also focus more on plus one, uh, plus one counter sub theme. So I did a lot more with the plus one plus one counters because of the, the kind of like math I was talking about with uh with Wolverine and uh, getting a lot more just kind of like creatures into the battlefield. The suggested dex price is 63.61. 61 
which is not quite 40 bucks cheaper, but yeah, pretty close. So it is a fair bit cheaper at least. I did a whole bunch more than what I'm going to review right now, but yeah, this is kind of the, some of the big ones, I think. The replaceable cards, Blighted Halfling, I already talked about, only replacing it because it's like a $10 card. Utopia Sprawl, um, a nice thing to have, I think usually I would do it in a deck with more colors, it would be good. Um, when it's only two color, I kind of go like, do you need that? I don't know. Keen Sense, again, there's, it's like a, over three bucks and there's other cards even in this deck that do the same thing and are cheaper. All right. Car Carpulsen? Carpulsen? It sounds like Carpal Tunnel, but okay, sure. Forest, um, um, it deals one damage to you for color fixing. Can, I might be useful, but I don't know if you, again, I look, look at this as an option in usually like decks that have a lot more colors than like a two color deck. Maybe you don't need that. Also kind of expensive. I think it's like five bucks. Three visits. Very good card. Don't get me wrong. Very, very good card. I found something better. And finally, a forest. A forest and a forest. Basic lands are great. I think a lot of people want to like try and do a whole bunch of like fancy things with their lands, and that's not a good thing. A lot of times, just having a whole bunch of basic lands is a great idea. Basic lands come in untapped. They're easy to get to your hand. They're easy to get to the battlefield. You know what? Basic lands are awesome. But we're going to like do a little switch up here. I think there was, was it 19 for us? So we can cut a few and so have plenty left over. All right, so Delighted Halfling, we're tra trading with Trail Tracker Scout. I always forget its name. Anyway, one in the green, so a higher casting cost. But a 3-1 is, or sorry, a 1-3 instead of a 1-2. Add one mana of any color. A little more flexible. Whenever you expend 8, so you spend 8 mana on spells on a turn. It does have to be on spells. I got that wrong before. Return up to one target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Just automatic recursion for casting spells. Oh boy. That is like an amazing ability. Um... I should have ordered a whole bunch of these when they're still a bit cheaper. I think they're still under a buck right now. It's not bad. Utopia Sprawl for Cameo Whispered Hopes. I talked about this one before. If one or more plus one plus one counters will be put on a permanent you control, then that many plus one plus one counters I'll put on that instead. Or one extra plus one plus one counter. This is really important, with especially with Wolverine. Um, he's going to... Put a plus one plus one counter on himself and when he does that you get an extra one again what you really want to do is get him to like even plus two plus two is already like getting into dangerous territory if you have double strike you're going to be up to remember he doubles it double strike is going to double it again so yeah if he's four it's eight sixteen already if you get that one more plus one plus one by whatever means uh, or just that increase in damage, you're, uh, you're set. And also add X men of any one color where X is the uh, Kami Whispered Hope's power. So again, you're going to be able to keep putting plus one plus ones on a whole bunch of things, including Kami Whispered Hope's. Then yeah, you're going to make this into like just a huge mana draw. Keen Sense. I'm changing up for Evolution Witness. It has Adapt 2, so you can put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it for 2 mana. Not bad. Whenever 1 or more plus 1 plus 1 counters are put on Evolution Witness, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. So this isn't really card draw. I think it's better. Permanents that people put into your graveyard are things they don't want on the battlefield. Getting those things to back to your hand is better than drawing a random card. I really think. And it's target permanent. So yeah... No sorcerer's instance, that's a limitation, but even if there's like land destruction or something, you can just throw your land back in. No problem. And yeah, we're uh, switching uh, car 
Carpolsen, Carpolsen, I can't read that. Carpolsen Forest with Kessig Wolf Run. Kessig Wolf Run, so X, you can tap it for a colors or X, red, green, and tap to give target creature gets plus X, plus zero until end of turn. There you go. There's your win con. Or your finisher, or whatever you want to call it. Wolverine at instant speed can just get this huge boost in damage. Just uh, hold up your mana for your main two to cast, and pretty much every time your opponent's gonna have to be like, oh no. I can just, you can take them out of the game every single combat. Oh. Remember, even with just double strike, you need what? What is it with double strike? You need like plus four. So if you put six mana into this, tap it, Wolverine's already doing lethal. Oof, oof. Three visits again. For one in the green, I'm changing. I'm changing with Cosmium Confluence. For four in the green, I'm actually going to talk about this in a video this week. Um, it is one of these uh, these confluences. So basically, a modal spell where you get to choose three, and you can choose the same mode more than once. With this, you search your library for a cave card, put it onto the battlefield, tapped, then shuffle. You're going to do that three times. You're choosing that option, but there's also destroy target enchantment. So if you want to like mix in, like go get one cave, destroy two enchantments. Yeah, go for it. Or destroy three enchantments for five mana. The flexibility there is incredible. But caves, right? We need some caves, which are land type. Let's take a look. Captivating cave. And add a colors or if you want to add man one mana of any color, probably won't need that. If you need it, it's there. That's the only reason. And for foreign tap, you can sacrifice it to put two plus one plus one counters on target creature. That will get Wolverine to a 4-4 four four already on its own. As I said, that's basically with double strike 16 commander damage already. So yeah, Captivating Cave. Also, if you've got your recursion, if you've got, you know, the, I always want to call him the wrong name. Trail Tracker Scout. If he's out, you can probably put this back into your hand, play it again, and potentially just keep sacking it if you want to, or just leave it on the battlefield. Promising Vein. Add a colors, or for one, you can search your library for a basic land card, put it into the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. If you need it, it's there. You probably don't need it, though. Just in case. Really? Once again, if you can keep recurring it to your hand, maybe that is going to solve some problems. I doubt you'll need it more than once anyway. Hit of Offering. This card is just like the best land that's come out in a long time. I don't think people realize how awesome this land is. This is why I'm doing a cave video tomorrow. So it enters the battlefield tapped. They all enter tapped if you're using Cosmium Confluence. So kind of the same difference, but anyway. When it enters the battlefield, exile up to three target cards from graveyards. From graveyards. So you could do three from the same, or three from three different. Doesn't matter. Whoa. And add one, you can add a, color, a colorless, or tap to add one mana of any color of the exile card's colors. So you could, if you've got like a red green card in your graveyard, you can exile that and it'll all automatically make red and green. Or you can exile cards from your opponent's uh, graveyards and if they have red or green or whatever, it really is not hard to get this to make like Woo Bird, right? This is such a crazy, it's graveyard hate mana fixing land. A graveyard hate mana fixing land. That's bonkers. That is absolutely crazy. This, I, this is like under 50 cents. And more, okay. So I changed a whole bunch of cards in this deck, as I said. I managed to get the cost of the deck down quite a bit. Remember, this is a deck, a work in progress kind of deck. So I don't feel so bad like making a whole bunch of changes. And also you probably wanna like mix and match my changes with the original deck, I think. I made it much cheaper. I emphasize making it cheaper. I think the original deck has some cards that are definitely a lot stronger. Like Bear Umbra? 
I don't know if I should have cut that. I don't. Anyway, okay. Aki Battle Squad. This is something you gotta add. Whatever you do. F uh, five in a red. Whenever one or more modified creatures you control attack, that's gonna be Wolverine. Untap all modified creatures you control after the fa combat phase. There's an additional combat phase. Tr this triggers only once each turn, but basically it's extra combat phase. So, once Wolverine is ready to start knocking players out, you're just going to knock two players out each combat. Which, uh, if you're playing Commander, you've got three opponents. That might end the game right there. Or, uh, you'll have one opponent left, but okay, whatever. Analyze the Pollen. Every green deck should have this card. Alright, so again, it, you can go get, uh... Go get a basic land card for one uh, one green. Eh, okay, but if you collect evidence eight, so you exile cards from your graveyard with total mana value eight, then you can use this as a tutor for anything. Go get whatever you need for your win con. Probably something that's going to double your damage, right? You've got lots of ways to get double strike. Two-handed axe doubles your damage automatically. Probably two-handed axe. I think almost every time you should go get that. Anyway, for one green, oh boy, why is that still under a dollar? I don't know. Temperamental Uzweg? Okay. Three in the green for a four-four, and for two in the green you can adapt to. So that if this creature has no plus one plus one counters on it, put two plus one plus one counters on it. Sure. Modified creatures you control have trample. Again, Wolverine is going to get those counters, and uh, it's just going to give him trample because he has the counters. We also have ways to give him reach because of, uh, what is that, Longshot Squad, I think it's called? I can't remember the name of anything when I'm recording, but yeah. You'll give, be able to give him Vigilance, you'll be able to give him uh, reach, trample, pretty much everything you need, you'll be able to do. So yeah. Oh boy, this is just going to hurt a lot. Final thought. So this is a great commander to use for a Voltron deck. Uh, commander damage can add up in one round fairly easily, negating the effects of those pesky life gain decks. This is like the number one strategy. I think if so, you got someone that likes to use a lot of life gain, like an Edgar Markov or something, hypothetically. Uh, hypothetically. Um, yeah, just take them out with commander damage. Anyone that's like, oh, we don't play with commander damage, probably runs a life gain deck, I think, at least in my experience. So yeah, people who play with me know what I'm talking about here. Anyway, uh, he might be truly the most gruel commander out there. I think, yeah. Again, his emphasis is on trample, getting big and doing damage. He is so gruel. I think I would love it if they made him a Naya commander. It would make it easier to build. It would not be more true. This is like very true to Wolverine. I feel like even dusting off like the regenerate for Wolverine is so on point. Anyway, take it easy.